Welcome to Squadcast TV, smoothest podcast in the world. Today, I got my boy Vernon on the podcast, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell the people who you is, man. Vernon, Vernon White. Been on Chucky for like what? 12, 13 years now? Yep, yep. So we met at what? Middle school. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She yeah, grew up, started start smoking weed. <laughs> Cause this nigga right here, ah, so, uh, nigga, don't blame me for it. Don't blame me for your weed smoking, nigga. Yeah, it was your fault. <laughs> nah, it ain't yeah, my fault. Yeah. And like, hey, it was not man, my fault. My house, I'm gonna get you high today. Right, right. Just like it was, just like it was off of Friday and shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, shit, went to this nigga house. Mm hmm. Shit, what was it like? What Friday, Saturday, something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, so this nigga, um, shit, bought some weed, got a blunt roll. Right. Why not smoking it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got high as fuck. Nigga yeah. start feeling like butterflies in my stomach. Like, right. From my toes going all the way up. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I feel feeling kind of like weird. Right. After that, I got the munchies. I remember shit, we was just posted in the car. Right. Went upstairs, made some news real quick, came mm-hmm. back downstairs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, fucking, man, news, news ain't never tasted that good in my life. Yeah, those was the days. Those were good old days, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glory days right there. Man, wonderful days. Yeah, yeah. All right, so with that said, man, um, you know, we 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 talked about the 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 backstory and shit, how we met and everything. That's beautiful. Um, you end up moving to Seattle, yeah. Which you know that that shit's so far. So, how was your drive uh, down here to Cali, man? Uh, on your on, on your way to Cali is what seventeen hours or so, something like that. It's nah, a seventeen like, hour uh, drive. It's like eighteen hours, like eighteen hours and like thirty five minutes. Oh, okay, but you okay. know you got to make stops here and there and stuff. Exactly. So I'll say like maybe, like maybe like nineteen hours, like nineteen, 19 hours. and a half hours to like twenty hours total. Woo! And do y'all do y'all stop and get a hotel room or y'all just y'all just nah, push? Man, we gone. Y'all just push. Man, one way through. Sure. I love it. Getting gas, getting food, and yeah. that's about it. Okay. Okay. That's why uh, we took our dogs with us and stuff. So. Right. My um, my girl dog, she been enjoying her little time out here. Mm-hmm. Okay. My dad likes her. My dad want a puppy from her, so it's just like, man, I thought she was gonna be like a little bit wild, but nah, she, she easy, easy man. on the trip. You brought both of your dogs? Yeah. Or what? The, the toy poodle nice. and uh, my uh, red nose pit bull. Dog, dog, hell yeah, hell yeah. Shit, man. that's what's up. So tell us how you met your how you met your girl, man. How, how you meet your girl? And, and, and tell the people just just tell the people about her. You know, tell tell All her. All right. So I met my girl because. Uh, it was one of my homeboys, auntie, and I tried getting at her one time, like on Facebook and stuff, and she just kind of like threw me off, like, nah, like, you too young, and so one day I went to the beach, and this one I was playing football and stuff, so, like, she was just checking me out, and then next you know, like, after the beach, he wound up hitting me up, like, hey, like, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how Tay was turning up. You should have blew off, like, wait, what, what about what about earlier when you was talking uh, about that shit? Yeah. <laughs> So I was just like, oh, okay. So it kind of like uh, started right there. Yeah. So I got her number. We started texting, talking, and all that stuff, and you know, just having a good time. Right. And it got to the point where, shit, like we went to like a little pool party or whatever, mm-hmm. and you know, she was walking upstairs, and she was just like, oh yeah, she was um, coming from the bathroom and stuff, and right. I was going upstairs, and I seen her. It was just me and her right there. I'm right. like, hey, what's like, what's up with all that stuff you was talking about? Yeah. And she just kind of like smiled and chuckled a little bit, and, and just like, uh, like, like whatever. Yeah. So she started walking downstairs. So I put out my dick, and then- <laughs> oh shit, she got real. <laughs> she got real and feel fast. Yeah. God damn, this is the first day y'all met. Yeah, first. First time you like seen her in person? No, no, no. Like, like, I, out? No, like I've been seeing her and stuff, but it was just like you first know, first time y'all linked up. Yeah, like linked, like, like really like linked yeah. up like that. So it was just like, so she came back upstairs, you know, you feel me? One thing led to another, yeah. just like a little quick moment. Okay. So after that, you know, you know, she went downstairs, you know, all flabbergasted, right. and orgasm, and just like, yeah. yeah like, and so somebody asked her, hey, you okay? She was like, oh, no, I'm fine. Like, so, you know, that day, you know, we just went about our business, you know, went back home, and I say like, you know, she hit me up, like, hey, like, uh, mm-hmm. like, you know, what's good? Word. Yeah. Like, that's tight. Know, that's tight. You know, she wanted some more. For sure. For sure. So it was just like, okay. So one thing yeah. led to another, and shit, everything was like, in my in my perspective, I thought like you know it's gonna be like fun and games. And shit. Yeah, exactly. But it wasn't. Yeah, that shit was like serious as fuck. Mm-hmm. So 
I would say like in her mind, it was just like, oh, we just gonna fuck, have fun, exactly. or whatever, mm-hmm. and then things just start getting serious. Right. Like um, at the time, she was what forty nine. I was like what twenty one or twenty two. She was how old? Like forty nine. Woo! Like no, like no, forty seven. Forty seven. Yeah, forty seven. My boy had a true, true man, cougar on his hands, cougar. man. True cougar. Yeah. That's what I mean. So, 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 so tell the people, man, like, how is it, how is it dating an older, older woman, man? It's probably more serious, like, uh-huh. less games, less bullshit. I, I would, I would assume that it's more, I think it's a, it's more efficient, right? Because they've been through the, the bullshit already. If you're yeah. looking for a serious relationship, somebody uh, a little older would probably be the best bet, right? Uh, it, it all depends on the person. Yeah. Honestly, if you ask me, it all depends on the person. With her, you know, she had her ups and downs. She been through it and all that stuff. And me, you know, just shit, just like shit, barely learning um, yeah. how to get all get all on my own and shit. Right. So she's kind of like uh, started guiding me in a way, yeah. Yeah. like shit that I didn't even know about. Exactly. So I'll say like, man, things 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 was like a little bit hard. Yeah. Was, how long how long into the relationship did y'all uh decide to move in together and then and then and then after y'all moved in together how long did it take for y'all to move to uh seattle and shit so it was, it was like a little bit of sneaking around here and there yeah. like we couldn't move into we could move in uh, uh with each other until like what two three years i say like maybe after that after that time y'all said fuck it oh damn Cause that fuck it, we don't care who know, huh? Yeah. yeah. At, at, at a point, everything just got out, and then shit, we just made a point like, you know what? We're gonna move to Seattle to uh, have a better life. Right, right, right. Like you know, when I was out here, I felt stuck. Right. You know, shit wasn't going for myself, and it was just like, man, like I'm not moving nowhere. I'm fucking always mad and not not doing shit for myself. So and that was a way for you to get get on your shit and get, you know fucking like stop bullshitting. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, with her, it was just, like, kind of like the same thing. You know, she had shit going. So, it was just like, you know what? I want to make make a difference. Yeah. So, right. we moved to Seattle. And, man, like, I, I I don't regret it. Yeah. I don't regret it. No, I think I think that's a good move. Like, I see you, bro. You look happier. You look, <laughs> like, when we went to Universal Studios, my nigga was flying in the motherfucker. My boy had to, like, I don't know what those glasses is called, uh, bro. But uh, Don't shake the minus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The motherfuckers, they make you look like a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> Why they got the, the, the gold chain on, nigga? Fresh than a motherfucker, nigga. Appreciate you, fam. Yeah, you welcome. You welcome. Um, uh, but that's dope, man. What a, what a what a beautiful thing, man. So so what what what's like the ups and downs of that, bro? What's like the ups and downs? The ups and downs. Yeah. Um, I I'll say like you know be 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 yourself. Honestly, like you try to be like something that you're not, and try to impress a a woman. Right, right. For what? It's like man, be yourself for like day one, mm-hmm. so that way she can see who you really are, right. and then. Take your time to be with a woman because it's like you rushing rushing into a relationship. Yeah, it's like man, like you don't know shit about her. You don't know, you know, if she's fake or whatever. Or right. same thing with a guy or whatever. Right. But it was just like man, like I'm gonna take my time, see who you are, yeah. and you know, I was throwing my true colors in the beginning. Yeah. Same thing with her, as you should. And you never, you never want to like uh, try to be because what happens is a lot of people get in these relationships you try to be perfect in the beginning yeah. bro but your true self gonna come out at one point one point in time or another and you don't know if that person gonna like your true self so it's yeah. better to be yourself from the get-go and if they fuck with you then you know they're gonna fuck with you the long way even even though far down the line in the relationship you feel me so yeah. i think that's the best way to do it you feel me so uh, yeah so it's good that you was being yourself you feel me oh uh, yeah and she kind of enjoyed that because like me yeah. it's like i have a, uh, a kid and so it's just like she kind of really. We know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it though. You 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 ever heard the phrase? Uh, it says, "I don't. You don't get old. You don't. You don't get. You don't stop playing because you get old. You get old because you stop playing." Nah, I never heard that. You never heard that? Nah. No, but it's it's true. Like I feel like no matter how grown you is, as long as you be responsible and shit, yeah. obviously. But it's no matter how grown you is, you always want to maintain a level of uh childness, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? To have fun. You know, life is so short and. And it's it's so serious all the time, bro. It's good to kind of loosen it up and have a little bit of fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of always being so uptight and serious all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like with her, like her thing was like, oh, like you know, you're gonna be like not not like using me, but like probably just try to fuck and you know yeah. get on. And yeah. Because I tell you what, to be fair, uh, most of the time, young men they yeah. ain't looking to be in a yeah. serious relationship. No, they just trying to. 
And I, honestly, <laughs> and I, I, they dip. You feel I, me? I thought that that's what it was going to be, but it was just like, man, like, it, it was just like, you know. You end up falling in love. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what it was. Said. When y'all going to get married? Um, I, honestly, hey, I'm, I better be the best man, too, nigga. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you will. Sure. Hey, when the time is right. Yeah. When the yeah. time is right. That's right. Now, y'all know in the time, it's never, when it comes to marriage, bro, that's something that's so serious. You never want to rush that shit, bro. Take your time. Yeah, like if, let it let it all just, you know, happen organically. And either side shouldn't be pushing for it. Like, yeah, like oh, hurry up and marry me. Marry, like, like, y'all I don't want to put her, pull out a fucking ring and be like, oh, like, you know, get out on one knee. Like, here you go. Right. Like, nah. Like, exactly. I won't look right. Nah, but for like, sure. me, I'm just taking my time to see how yeah. things, like, going and, you mm -hmm. know, it's like a roller coaster. Right, right. Hell yeah, so, I like that. I like that. Good shit. Um, so uh, with that said, um, I think we should jump into some conspiracies, man. Um, and by the way, congratulations, bro. Thank I want to say that, man. Yeah, I think going on what nine years, going on ten years. I think that's a beautiful thing, bro. I really yeah. do. I think uh, finding somebody that you're fully compatible with is 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 a beautiful thing, and you can't you can't find that anywhere, bro. Like good women nowadays is a thing of the past. Uh, um, so look, I wanted to get into uh, because look, man, I have to say this, like what. 53 don't even kind of don't even look it yeah that's crazy hey show that uh, put that put, put it a little closer to the camera man hey that's it went off it went off show, show the people show the people your girl man she 53 looking like she 29 you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah yeah show the people man show the people who you who you working with man too bad she can't be here it would have been nice to have her here she could have sat right there next to you nigga. <laughs> yeah look at for the upright yeah like that Look, look, look. Tell me she ain't beautiful, y'all. Hey, A1, man. What a blessing. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. I think y'all make a good couple, bro. Y'all make a good couple. Like, when I see y'all at the, uh, at Universe, I'm like, ah, oh, that's what's up. I'm like, yeah. I can't wait to get mine out here, nigga. Yeah. I can't wait to get mine, like, nigga. A lot of people be, like, looking like, you know, probably like, oh, like, how's that working now? Yeah. Or he just, like, using her or whatever. Right. But it's like, man, like, we just deal with each other bullshit. Um, yeah, we have a good conversation. We talk mm -hmm. about everything. We don't lie to each other. Right. It's like, man, because I told her like, if you lie about one thing, you got to keep lying about the next thing, and right. then boom, next you know you're gonna get caught up. Right. And then you gonna have like a dumb, the most dumbest face on like exactly, man, exactly. But look, I know you. I know you don't got time, so I want to touch on a lot of shit. Uh, so let's uh, let's let's move on. So. Uh, 9 11, right? Because right. we, we, we talk about this shit over the phone all the time. <laughs> so I'm glad we're able to do it here um, on the show. So, uh, inside job or not? Let's start off with that. I feel like it was an inside job. 100%. Okay. Uh, now, yeah. now tell tell the people why you think it's an inside job. Give us give us some uh, some facts or, you know, some, some telltale signs that it may be an inside job. Man, in my opinion, it was just like some people who were supposed to be there yeah. wasn't there and shit. Bro crazy and it's like the nigga put out a insurance claim on that bitch too mm -hmm. so it was just like man like why why make a terrorist the insurance claim or something right. like that so i heard he got like what billions of dollars off that shit yeah. it was like some crazy insane um, yeah. amount of stuff yeah you want to you want to hear something super crazy uh, what do you know about the when 9 11 happened there was a two point something trillion dollar deficit in in the budget bro so that like trillion so trillions of dollars yeah. was missing when 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 the twin towers went down what you know about the office of the twin towers where they were doing the uh not the, the marketing but the financing they were doing the uh what's the word i'm looking for um the accounting and they were trying to figure out where the money is what you know about that's exactly know what, that that office is exactly where the pain plane may impact with the twin towers crazy my nigga so man that was it. so it it, it it goes to show you somebody was stealing nigga yeah Somebody was stealing, bro. And we see where the money going at now. Cause I look how the world's turning out to be. Right, exactly. It's, it's not the same no more. Mm -hmm. Like, it, yeah, go ahead. Like, like honestly, I feel like people are being cooped up in a box. Yeah. Um, we got fucking what, like supposedly drug machines all on the fucking corners for right. drug addicts. Well, but, like, but, but 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 to be fair, I, I I don't know if that's a bad thing. The whole drug. Yeah, that's just a fucking bad thing. No, no. Cause, <laughs> all right, I'm glad you said this because I got. I'm passionate about this drug shit, bro. And the reason why is because I think the war on drugs is a <coughs> facade to pretty much incarcerate people over petty petty crimes. Um, if you if you do a crime, 
it's 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 not a crime if there's no victims bro and that's why i'm really that's why when like people be like oh lock people up for drugs small minor drug offenses ain't hurt nobody you know what the problem is nigga the problem is two point something trillion dollars missing the little tweaker down the street ain't hurting nobody yeah you know what i mean i don't know if you should be like feeding them free drugs and shit but i just think they should they need to legalize tax and regulate that shit period bro and 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 then also use that money i know it sounds crazy oh the government supplying drugs to the people but if you look at all the solutions bro the if you look at the uh, the war on drugs if you look at the the 94 crime bill if you look at all the i guess the solutions that we tried to do to address the drug shit none of that shit's working None of it's working. Like it's getting worse. More, oh, excuse me. More people on drugs than ever before. <laughs> More people on drugs than ever before. Nigga, you got nigga, nigga. Most of the people in jail is there from yeah. petty, petty uh, right, drug right, crimes. Right. Uh, what selling marijuana and stuff? Selling weed and or look, 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 possession look, 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 of weed look, 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 or now dispensaries mm-hmm. everywhere. Right. Right. It's like, man, like they could have had this started a long time ago. Exactly. They uh, just let black people do their own thing, but exactly. nah, they don't want to see us grow. Right, right, and that's fucked up. But, 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 like I said, I think uh, the solution is to legalize tax and regulate. Have the have the government have use the money that they make from that shit to also uh, invest in like rehab and and. Hey, and I, be, I be thinking about that. Or like you know, find research to help people get out these damn drugs yeah. because it's like, man, y'all put this shit here in the first place. Right, right. So it's like y'all, y'all put this here to fuck up the black community, exactly. and then when the white people got a hold to it, it's like, oh, no. now you want to care. Uh, <laughs> When the crack epidemic happened, nigga, and, and all them black folks was on drugs, they giving these niggas arms and the legs. Oh, you're a criminal. You're 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 uh you're a fucking trouble to society. Uh, no help, nigga. Now that this meth shit taking over, it's a gang of white folks on it now. Now now it's a we gonna, it's a problem. You feel uh, me? Shit, niggas uh, didn't give a fuck when I the crack about epidemic like, was going on. Like back in the days, like you know, parents couldn't get on the welfare or none of that shit. Right until like you know they thought about like, hmm, we put these niggas on the welfare, we can get the dads <laughs> out the picture. And, like, Man, we Crazy. can make a bigger picture, yeah, like, man, and man. make you rely on the government titty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And 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 now now you're 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 stuck at a stalemate, and you never have the uh the the motivation to want more because the government paying your bills, the government helping you take care of the kids or whatever, whatever. You know? Because I heard one thing: it's like uh, if the women wasn't getting paid, you know, that money from the uh, government, right? You know, the dads be wind up here, you know, taking care of the kids. Yeah, way and, more and than then women. you lock them up for. Because uh, the nigga had a little piece of crack in his pocket. You look at you look at countries like uh, mo- a lot of countries in Europe. I believe like Denmark, Amsterdam, um, even even Oregon tr- tried to. But this is why, bro. Everybody look at Oregon as the reason to not legalize drugs. But Oregon didn't do it right. Oregon just decriminalized it, bro. Which means that the cops won't do nothing. We won't use our resources to help these people get off yeah. their drugs. Yeah, exactly. that that's a, and that's another thing I was gonna say too. Like, um, the government can like easily refund shit to help to help people get the, get the fuck off drugs, and it's not that exactly. hard. Right? It's like you know, people. Uh, if you go like to like, I want I'm gonna just say they, like Africa or right. somewhere like people are, like who really like deal with that kind of shit like to help people get off drugs. Right. They make medicine for that. Right. But a lot of people, the a lot of people out here in America, America are just so money hungry. Right. So like people don't ever think about like oh like you know America is making us sick exactly. with all this fucking food like they just passed a law about um the animal cell right like I guess um they take a cell from the animal and they grow it grow it in a lab or some shit right. and I guess it grow into like I, I don't know probably right. like a deformed whatever wow. or you don't know shit exactly but basically they're they gonna be feeding us that shit. Yeah. yeah like 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 that's crazy <laughs> man that's why I was like you know about them wanting us to eat bugs and shit. Uh, Tell me what? <laughs> nah, nah, so, all right, so look, I, I, for some reason, I don't know why, bro, but you know, like the P- PETA or something like that, where the people that like protect animals and shit, I yeah. forgot. I think that's the name. They don't want us eating uh, meat anymore, right? So you would think veggie burgers, but they're like, nah, that's not enough. We want you niggas to eat insects. So they got, they, they about to start making, <laughs> they about to start making burgers or like just food in general, bro, but they're going to use, uh, they're going to use insects, bro. They can find Would you eat that shit, guy? Hell no. Nah, well, what if it tastes good, though? What if it's like nah, fire? You know what I mean? They can find a fucking leg in there. Just <laughs> like, hell nah. but I'm pretty sure they're going to grind it up. You ain't going to see no like like legs or antennas or whatever. They're going to grind it up and f- flavor it, make it taste like like nah, actual. That's like, you know yeah, what I mean? That's not part of life. 
Yeah. So we've been doing that for so long. So it's like, why right. change? Like, it's all about control. Mm. Like, if you ask me, it's all about control. Like, right. who's complaining about that? Yeah. I ain't complaining. Yeah. What Which about ain't... the moon? What about the moon landing, bro? We went to the moon. <laughs> yeah. I said, hell nah. <laughs> 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 shit, that one nigga when he put his hand on the Bible when old crazy, boy told him crazy, bro. Like he was just. But you know to- what's crazy though? Know, like I, I feel like, yeah, like you said, if it, if you know you went for sure, why not yeah. just do it? Why not exactly. just do it? Because the nigga could have still lied. Yeah. That's the that's the cra- that's what's scary because you could have still lied, but you didn't even want to do it. Do it. You could have fucking lied, bro. And he just all you got to do is like, man, I swear to God, I was there. Why would I lie? I don't want to lie to the people. It's easier to just. Just do it, bro. Because then, if, unless you're trying to feed into the conspiracy, yeah. like, I'm not going to do it just but to make people think But my thing is, like, that. you know, where the fuck are these niggas going inside that rocket, though? Yeah. It's like, you know, we see them going up. Like, yeah. are they really inside the rocket? Right, right. Or is that rocket just, like, going just up? Just unmanned. Remote, and just fucking, yeah. Remotely and yeah. shit. Because just, uh, I'm just thinking about the, um, these other guys who went to the, who supposedly went to the moon. Yeah. But supposedly got lost up there. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, either... They could have really died, or they could be uh, men in black. All right, what about crack- that rocket that blew up? What rocket that blew up? There was a. I, I, it was. It was. In, it was during the time of the moon era, the traveling to the moon era. There was one. Sh- there was one um, trip that the, the 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 astronauts was inside the fucking rocket. It was getting ready to take off, and the whole thing blew up. Oh, like right, like right there, and right then? there on the base. Man, so that's that's kind of weird. I think I, I want to see. That's what I'm saying. This is where my conspiracy brain kicks in. Like, what if those niggas was like the people that was trying to tell people, like, "Hey, we ain't really go to the moon," and they're like, "All right, we're gonna blow you niggas up so y'all don't tell the people." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, that could that could be it. Yeah. Or what happened? They, you know, they they seen something that they shouldn't have seen. Right. Like, um, man, let me see. I'm gonna just say, like, uh, with celebrities, um. Yeah. A lot of NASA people who who just supposedly go missing or just like die or right. whatever. It's, crazy. it's like look at uh Whitney Houston too, trying to get her catalog and stuff, and like the right to her music. And, they and man, whack. supposedly she oh died or whatever. It's come like on. Oh, come on, then your daughter died next. Come too? like on, come on, like, like she was like right, her daughter was probably supposed to get the right to her music, exactly. and it was just like nah, scary, bro. Man, like it's just like man, like why, 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 why is so much evil in the world? Facts. Like like what like what what are you getting from this? Like what do you want? Yeah. Like man, like, I agree. I All wanna, right. Uh, let, let's talk about aliens real quick. Right. Aliens. Aliens, real or not? Yeah, man. We probably living among them. You think shit, so? We probably looking at them on TV. Shit. Right. We, we know. know shit. Shit, hey, shit. Remember Men in Black, man. Men in Black. Uh, they like teachers. Nah, and that. All types all of shit. They just part of the society, bro. Like. Man, look at um, Joe Biden. You, you never know if these niggas inside fucking skin suits. Man, imagine. Man. That's some scary shit, ain't it? I seen a YouTube video of a nigga putting on an actual skin suit. Yeah. Nigga, this shit looked so shit real. Look real. Man, he, he oh. really looked like somebody. Wow. It was just like, man, mind blowing. Look, look at white chicks. Uh, like, I mean, that's a, that's a crazy example, but them niggas, like, uh, I, I ain't gonna say they look like females, but they don't look like no black men. No. Like, that's the last thing you would think they are, bro. Like, if you seen. Like when they do the makeup and everything for some of these movies, bro. If you, I mean, this is outside of the alien shit, obviously, but you, you can. It's hard to tell, like, if who's the real person is. Yeah. Bro. There was a, there was this uh some video I was watching, and there was a dude. It was a white dude that he put a black. He had a black skin suit, a black yeah, skin. Yeah, that's the one. Was, oh, that's what you're talking yeah. about. And then, and then he was robbing banks or robbing stores, and there was a. Weirdly enough, there was another nigga that looked just like exactly. this, and they they thought it was him, but then they found out this nigga was wearing a, a realistic yeah, I mask. Think, uh, a relative or somebody recognized them mm-hmm. and then that's how they told on them and stuff. Crazy, bro. I was just like, yeah. motherfuckers getting away with shit. Like hey, that. what's up with that family though? What family? Remember the family that saw them aliens? I, I heard they I heard, heard about them, that. I heard like they, they had a video. Yeah, they had a uh, video on it or some shit like that about the aliens just like in some bushes, just like in a, in a, in a, I guess it landed in a backyard and then they called which was weird. Hey, can you try to try to pull that up if you can? T- type on Google, uh go to Google and type in um uh, family, family that sees aliens or something like that, and see if you can find uh, some type of article about it. But it's weird that when he did the phone call, I want I want y'all to play the phone call if you can. But when he when he made the phone yeah. call, he was like, 
uh, like he just sounded so like calm. It, he was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Like, it's, yeah, it's eight yeah, feet yeah. tall. It has big eyes. Like that's like, weird, like, bro. Yeah, I would have been shitting my fucking. You too pants. casual. Well, I don't know if it was a white person. You, you never know. Like who yeah. fuckers like to go see shit like that. So right. if, I, if, if it was a nigga, nigga, I'd be shitting my fucking pants. Like, right, nah, right. I'm good. I go mm-hmm. get the gun, stay in the fucking house, like right. these motherfucking doors. Exactly. Like even if you see it on camera, man, just you know, pay attention to the camera. Exactly. The minute this nigga move, man, nigga, yeah. everybody lock up these windows, Facts. man, go to yeah, because because to me, okay, I'm gonna spot. put myself in those shoes, right? One one said they saw. Oh, put it, put it on screen. Is it? Let's see. It is a police call. Everybody will be talking about. Thanks for joining it? us here at six o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Brian Loftus. The family says something crashed into their backyard, prompting them to call nine one one, saying they saw creatures walking around. Our eight news now investigators digging into this. I hope they play the uh, now tonight. Our David charts with the video you will only see on eight news now. David, Brian, these sources telling the news that investigators that several agencies believe something landed or crashed. Whether it was non humans or not, it certainly scared the people living on this property. Now, before we show you that video, listen to their call for help. There's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's no, two behind it. Yeah. Two, two calls. Okay, where is this on your property? Oh, oh, this is the plan. <laughs> he just called. So there's two people or two subjects. That are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they're, like, they're like aliens to us. Wow. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Like, okay. like I can't explain it. They're big, I'm out. You know, and then in black, they're they just sound like they see people who's like nine, ten foot. They're not human, they're not human. They're 100% not human. Well, they right, use obtaining video as officers then responded to the call you just. Yeah, just stop it. But look, I look, look, one more thing. I want y'all to play because I heard that the family went missing. See, look, try to find that. But I, I'll tell you what, bro. If the family went missing, because th- I don't believe this based off of what it is. Because look, I'm gonna play a scenario in my head, and then I want you to know if you agree with this, yeah. right? Okay, I'm chilling. Me and the family, we <laughs> we we vibe it or whatever. And then all of a sudden we hear a noise, boom. And then we look in the backyard, it's some type of ship or nigga. The first thing you doing is like, whoa, what's that? Yeah, exactly. So they either if if the family went missing, because according that's, to the call, I don't it don't sound like they took any pictures. <coughs> it sounds like they just called the police. Somebody, somebody had a video of a video of it though. Mm-hmm. But my thing well, is, who knows that the family went missing? They could just fucking yeah. posted that. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree with that, but that's that's what I'm saying. I want them to uh, look it up because if if the family went missing, then I believe this yeah. way more because obviously I think they had they I, they probably went missing because the motherfuckers had videos video. of that shit, bro. Because you gonna take you gonna take a video, so like some shit like that happened, nigga. I, honestly, I think I think it's safe to say that you won't even call the police first, bro. Yeah. You gonna call them if you feel threatened, but first you are gonna be like, "Whoa, what's this?" You gonna, and right. then when you call the police, you are gonna be like, "Oh, what the hell is this?" Not, yeah, it's uh, eight feet tall. No, like think, just uh, too calm. I think a cop uh, did arrive on the scene. No, he did, but but like after after the fact, my if you ask me, it's just like let's let, let's just say that they did take the people or whatever, right? What they do with the people, yeah. you know, what the people going through. I don't know. Are, are, are they you know mind control? It, it, it might be MK. Or, like, it might be mind, mind control. Man. You never know. Because if you look at like okay, a lot of a, a lot of like movies they depict real life shit, but, but like they they will show you on screen some shit that you think was unbelievable, yeah. But they really doing that shit in real life, and they make a movie about it. It's like hiding the truth from like uh, like even in music, like uh, look at Biggie song uh, talking about the twin towers, even in cartoons before yeah. it actually happened and shit. Yeah. So it's like sure, uh, that, and that's exactly my point. So Men in Black, like when they. Uh, when they try to explain certain shit to you about the way aliens live amongst us, yeah. or uh, with the new neuroli- the neuralizer, yeah, who knows if they don't have some shit like that in real life to make sure these uh, people don't remember that. That'd be some uh, mind blowing shit. And then, and then another thing too, I think it's weird that we assume that some of these spacecrafts are crashing. Like if you talk about a a, a, a dominant, superior, intelligent race that, that has the ability to travel from one part of the galaxy to another, and and to be fair. I don't think they're just driving in an aircraft because it'll take years to get here, yeah. bro. I think 
if you look at aliens, bro, most people like to call them extraterrestrial, which I think they are, but they're also extra dimensional. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which means that they might have the ability to fold space and time, like some Rick and Morty shit, nigga. Uh, dude, like boom, show. Portal. I know I love Rick and Morty. Yeah, Rick and Morty is so fire, common. bro. But that no, I still should put South Park above it. You know how I am with South Park. Yeah. Love South Park to death. They talk about every motherfucking. Oh, everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody get it, bro. Jews yeah. get it, blacks get it, Asians get it, gays get it. Nigga, religion gets it, politics, nigga, they every don't give a fuck. Fucking and, and and I think and one thing I like too because a lot of shows that try to be uh political they they have a bias they yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll be certain people that they won't attack but look at from what i see both south park attack everybody bro they don't yeah. they don't lean left or right they don't lean christian or muslim they just it's everybody like, it's like, fucking it's get like attacked, that, bro. Right? which which make it entertaining because yeah. blacks get it whites get it mexicans get it christians get it everybody nobody's off hey, you know how south park started off like uh they their little character started off like with cardboard boxes yeah shit. i know i heard crazy crazy, crazy and now the production now. is way yeah. better and, and they smart for that and then you know it's like bro like every voice on south park is like three different people my nigga so they, they smart the way they did it because they was able to produce a show uh -huh. that had a lot of viewers off yeah. of pennies exactly. they didn't spend a lot of money Cause like you said, they use fucking cardboard figures and did that, and then they only used a couple voices. So what you got to pay the nigga, the nigga that's doing, you know, that's uh, doing the, the then, editing, and then just and then like three voice actors. I mean, I just imagine you know, like look at the Simpsons. Mm -hmm. Man, that shit started way back then. That shit got like what over thirty some seasons. Right, ridiculous, crazy. It's like just imagine when that shit comes to the end. You, you ever see those episodes of Family Guy where they 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 try to? I mean, it, they're joking, but they try to say cancel Simpsons and shit. I haven't seen that one. No, nah, nah, they got an episode. They, actually, they they've done it a couple times where they would uh, they make fun of Simpsons, talking about they have too many seasons. You need to cancel them. But see, yeah, you're right. Simpsons been going on for years. Yeah, they go, like, what since like the '90s? Nah, I think like the '80s. Like the '80s? Like the '80s? Yeah. Like late '70s maybe to like the '80s. Yeah. Like man, years. Like it's like non nonstop ending. Well, you said the '80s. That's like, how long Simpsons been going. Wow. Yeah, let me find. Let me I think I, is it the Simpsons that's like the longest running TV show. I think so. I yeah, think so. longest running TV show. But I love Simpsons, bro. To me, Simpsons is like the perfect, perfect uh, depiction of like comedy slash uh, witty, witty, witty type comedy. You know what I mean? But uh, Shh. what? So it was December seventeenth, nineteen ninety nine. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, Simpsons been running for a cool, cool minute. Um, let's see, man. I want to. I want to touch on everything before. Before you go, um, okay, I got two more, two more, two more things. Um, right. Okay, so what do you think about the submarine shit? Right, I, I remember Man. it's it's crazy how it went from okay, they're lost, and then everybody, oh, they have this many hours to live, this many hours to live. Well, oh, then a week later, oh, go ahead. I didn't hear like all that stuff, but if you ask me, nigga, I would have been making sure like nigga had beacons. Some yeah. shit that uh, floats in the air, so I, they know where I'm at. Why, why did they not? You know what's crazy? These is billionaires. Yeah. Why did they use a small little? Why did they use like a military uh, size? Uh, if you ask me, nigga, what happened that the A button got stuck? And nigga <laughs> 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 uh, hey, hey, see, that, and that's what makes it so funny that these niggas was using a fucking like PlayStation a cheap, controller, like a cheap bro. ass remote, cheap one. Man. That wasn't even a, like the official one. That, that's like the little budget remote. Exactly. Like that. Man, like fucking Walmart remote, like Come for like twenty nine ninety nine. Why the fuck they do that, man? Yeah, that's but, but 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 what but what throws me off about it is a week later, everybody commented on man, Twitter I'm just, I'm just and thinking, like, all these just, other. Just imagine niggas just like, nigga, I oh, think they were, look. I nah. think that that's a th that's an Xbox three hundred and sixty controller in your hand. Well, shit, hey, even better. Nigga. I think oh, that's nigga. better than the controller <laughs> that they had on that fucking air. Uh, 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 hey, it still works too. All but look, yeah. Man. It would have been good. It would have been like, good. Just imagine, like, niggas just tapping egg going down. And then <laughs> niggas just like, oh, nigga, the egg button stuck. Like, oh, we fucked. It's just like, ah, oh, hey, that B button, that B button, nigga. Yo, that's too common. Yo, that's too common. Hey, you know what's funny? I didn't even think about that. But that, what if that's what happened? Like, what if the niggas couldn't go back up because they joystick broke or something? Man, like, man, we fucked. Like, nah, they be down here in a couple hours. Yeah. Like, come find us. Like, wow. Right. But it's, it's crazy how a week later they turned, oh, the shit exploded. And they, I heard they knew, like, an hour. Like, you know, they died, like, within, uh, like, an hour of them going down or something like that. Like, like within the, the first, like, when they submerged under underwater, within, like, I guess the first couple hours they died. And, and and the fucking media knew. 
but they didn't tell people till a week later. Not, of course they're not. But why? But why lie about that? You go. You told the truth anyways. Why get people? You know why? I, I, my 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 thing is this: What happened if they did that just to uh, you know keep people on their toes? Like, oh, what's going on? What's yeah. going on to hide us from what, yeah. what's really going on? Right. And shit. Just to make content out of it. Yeah, no, no, no. Not just saying that. Like, just think about like what happened. Uh, while our eyes was looking at that. Right. Like, what? Yeah, distraction. Yeah. Distraction. Yeah, because once you say they died and imploded, that's the end of it. That's uh, the end of the story. But you keep people on the lookout. That That's true. They be doing that, bro. Yeah, they they like, do them psyop bullshit. Where they it's will, like, okay, like these niggas went down there. You're just like thinking about what's going on with them. But it's like, hey, uh, did they pass a bill? Right. Or uh, did they uh, kill somebody while we wasn't looking? Or yeah. did or what happened to this billionaire was uh, involved like with a lot of shit right. that we don't know about that exactly. they needed to take him out. Right, right. To, um, either take property or uh, gain access to his money yep. or like, yep. like uh, you, you never know. You never know. You never know. Facts. That's facts. And like, they said the kid was scared to go down there or whatever. It's man, if, if the kid's scared, like, man, let, let, like, yeah. Shit, leave well, him there. Yeah, don't make him. Don't yeah, make exactly. him do that shit. Leave, leave him and, 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 and then look, now, now, you know he dead now because y'all want to force a young was 18 no, 19, like, like 19 like 19 years old and but my thing is like man like your dad went down there multiple times or whatever yeah. that nigga's terrified but it's like right. man you're forcing him and like, he just want to be brave because what as far as the day or some shit like that right. and in my opinion man i would be like man you know what go ahead stay yeah today's not a good day yeah, to go stay. and i heard somebody else supposed to go yeah but you know they asked mr beast to go Mr. Beast. They asked Mr. Beast to go the day the day that the 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 trip was supposed to happen. Yeah. Mr. Beast was offered, hey, you want to come on this ride to see the Titanic? Yeah. And he declined. Imagine if he would have went on there, bro. Mr. Beast dead. Oh, the hairline. I, I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm a fan of Mr. Beast, nigga. That shit would have broke me, nigga. Nigga, hairline. That shit would have everywhere. Every, bro, bigger than what's happening right now, yeah. bro. Mr. Beast on the bro. But he got smart. He's smart. He like I ain't getting on that shit. Man, you lost your damn okay, mind. Like I said, bro, like fucking cheap ass remote. No, no fucking uh, no windows. Man, no seats. No, no. I think they had like a uh, like small window, but they had to write. Bro, it was like one window on the whole thing. Yeah, but they had to like rotate. You know, keep the. I guess it was like what five people in that bitch. Yeah. So I guess everybody was like like sitting like this and shit. And uh, I guess one person, uh, I guess at a time, had to uh, stretch off their legs and stuff. I like, said, like this. It's Fuck, like, yeah, that. Fuck that. Well, and this is what's crazy. you talking about billionaires. Why they own that home? home? And I think they, I, I watched this video where they had to sign a waiver, yeah. like not to sue or whatever. And the dude was like, oh, I, I can't remember. But just to paraphrase, he was like, um, yeah, it doesn't have windows. It was made by a private party. It's not FDA approved. Okay, I signed, and he still signed. <laughs> it's like, you yeah, know, like, go that bad. like, bro, like, you're a billionaire, bro. Just make your own sophisticated shit, bro. Not even that. They have submarines that I'm pretty sure. If you a billionaire, you got, you got, you got, uh, what access to certain shit that's normal. Bro, Why not go buy to... the top submarine from the government or something? Go buy the best submarine that you can. They will sell it to you. You're a billionaire. They wanted you to got, die. You got connections. Well, my, my question is, did they really die, though? And, yeah. and I kind of, well, we don't know shit. You don't Motherfuckers know. say, oh, they died or whatever know. when they probably at home sipping tea or drinking a beer. Like, oh, look at these dumb motherfuckers. Right. Thinking we dead over here. Like, yeah. Man, like, this shit is a crazy, twisted, wicked ass world. Oh, man. this world is so wicked, bro. Man, you, so never, you, never, you, you never know who's alive or who's really, like, dead. Right. Like man, that's like, true. Like sometimes, uh, I I wonder if these uh people work work up into ranks and shit. Right. Uh, so let me ask you this, right? Uh, I got I want to ask you this, and then one more topic, and then we we'll close it out. Um, what you uh, did you see that you, you don't watch No Jumper? You watch No Jumper? Nah. You hear about dude letting his his wife smash uh the 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 porn star? Huh? Oh, okay, you don't know about that. All right, we'll move on. Yeah, yeah you don't know about it. All right, uh, politics, bro. Who who is winning next year, man? Uh, who who? First of all, who you gonna vote for? And then second of all, who you think can actually get it done and win? Uh, honestly, I don't believe in voting. Why? Yeah. Because you never know if the shit is run by the same uh, people. Cause think about it. When uh, a president become president, nigga, they they get they getting cut a check from right. who? Right. Well, the president they get paid by the taxpayers and shit. I, nah, but nah, bro, they getting paid by somebody above them. But it's probably like a different standard of pay though. Mm-hmm. That they get paid. I mean, oh, you mean like somebody like pulling their strings, paying them to do? Yeah, like, but it's like a different kind of pay, pay for them. Like it's not like them getting money. It's mm -hmm. probably like them, them moving up in ranks and shit. Yeah, I could see that being the case. Yeah, so like in my opinion, I kind of don't 
believe in like, oh, uh, he's president, she's president. Well, yeah. I won't say she, but like, you know, we yeah. almost had a she. Almost. Uh, she technically <laughs> won. She technically won. And I'm the type of person, I don't like the electoral college, bro. I mean, I'll tell you right. That was the one time they got it right, though. Uh, <laughs> the electoral Why Well, I ain't going to say it's the one time they got it right, but I'm glad they got that particular election right by not getting uh, elected Hillary. But the electoral college is such a scam. Yeah. It's a scam. The people, the people's vote don't count when they got a fucking a handful of people. Because yeah. it's easier to pay a handful of people to vote one way than it is to pay millions of like people my thing to is, vote like one what way. Happened that they're just going off of, um, you know, like, um, all right, let me just rephrase that. You see cameras like everywhere, right? You mm -hmm. see your phone, like, you know, they, they watch everything that you do. Right. So what happened, happened if uh, they, they're just watching you observing you see what you like yeah. to see what, you, what you're gonna do next or yeah. you know basically just watching the shit out of you right and then it, they use that maybe for like you know to see who's who gonna be like the next president or i don't know shit yeah. like some weird like weird shit exactly but basically they just use that to um i guess probably get to the next phase mm -hmm. to just to control you more yeah i wouldn't be surprised um you think trump gonna win uh with everything that's going on with the, the, the indictment and they're trying to I, I'll say him. one thing like you can see that they're trying to fuck this nigga off big time big time big time big time, big time. you know what's interesting about that because I'm the type of nigga that no one's above the law right um so the fact that he's getting charged for this it, it I, I'm not gonna sit here and say oh he didn't do it he obviously did the shit that they're saying he's doing but you know it's political because I heard uh, almost every past president done the yeah. exact same thing, but now they want to charge it because they don't. They don't want Trump to win so badly. Like my thing is this: they, like, what happened if uh, you know? I'm ready for some truth, truthful shit to come out for yeah, once. Same. It's like, man, I, I want to know what's happening behind the FBI's door, the yeah. top secret shit. Like, right. I want to hear like some truthful shit to come out for once. Like, right. it's like mind blowing. For like, sure. man, like these motherfuckers crazy. It, it, it'll come out. I think the truth. What is it called? All dark must come to light. Yeah. And I think, I mean, this is me being optimistic because I, you know, I always wonder in my head, I'm like, who will, uh, like, because I think there's a battle of, there's establishment and then there's anti-establishment, right? And I'm always in conflict because I wonder, is the is the people going to win, bro? Are yeah. we going, are we going to be the ones that like, when all this shit hit the fan, are we going to be able to gain control back and give the power back to the people or will the establishment prevail, right? Um, so with that said, it, 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 it's mind-boggling because I wonder if we're going to have enough power to really gain back control okay. of the government. You feel My me? My thing is, you know, you got like a lot of people who's probably going to be like, you know, on some bull, like bullshit, dumb shit, try to rob still. Yeah. Instead of them being like, you know what, let's come together and get the, and get these uh, rich people out the house. Right. Like, why? Because they don't want to fuck them up the world. Yeah. We're the one who got, got to go fight wars right, and shit. Right, right. While their rich kids just sit yeah. back at home. Yeah, I think I think this, bro. They should have a, they should pass a law that says if, if, if you're in power and you have children, your children are just as susceptible as yeah. getting drafted as everyone else. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you another thing. Notice, um, like in like poor like neighborhoods or something like that, you have like uh, army recruits all day long up there, right? right. But you go to the rich neighborhoods, yeah. you don't see you don't army see recruits that shit crazy. at all. They're, crazy. Not, they're not even allowed to step up there. Crazy, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a different lifestyle yeah. up there compared to like the poor neighborhoods. Right. It's like, okay, why the fuck you're drafting people with no money exactly. to fucking go to war when like war is what? I say like, uh, you're, you're going to war, you're going to war for like grumpy up. My bad, bro. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you going to war for like grumpy ass, like old ass men yeah. and shit. So it's like, man, you gotta look at fighting it. Fighting a war that ain't even yours, bro. That, that, you, do, you have nothing to do with this, bro. I, I think, I think world leaders. You know how we got the UN and yeah. like where all these countries come together. They should pass a law in the UN that anytime we declare war. The leader must be in that war. You guess how many wars we'll have? None. None. If you have to be in every war that you, if you decide to go to war, you must be part of that war. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't. I feel like you shouldn't be able to, uh, like, declare war and then you're not in that war. 
Guaranteed, bro. You was crazy back in the day, nigga. The leaders was in the wars, nigga. Yeah, no, but I, George Washington and shit, motherfucker. They go to war, nigga. The leaders is front lining it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. So they need to bring that shit back, bro. Because if if the leaders have no consequence to go to war, then you're gonna always have war. Yeah, true. You're you're more inclined to do something bad if it's, if you're unaffected by it. Yeah. So to me, why give these niggas an? Uh, to me, it's a cop out by not letting them also. My ears ringing. By not letting them go to war, a war that they like Afghanistan, George Bush should have been in that shit, nigga. Yeah. Go front line, nigga. Go get your AR fifteen and strap <laughs> I mean, up. Um, but you send our brothers and sisters and <coughs> nieces and nephews and moms and dads and nah, kids, nah, sons and, and daughters like, and our slaves gonna go fight for us and shit. Yeah. And my thing is you ever look at like um people who start off in the army, right? Mm -hmm. And then they start learning all this shit and then they turn their back. Yeah. And they be like, Oh, this person went rogue, he's a traitor, he whatever. Right. What happened to uh, this person found, found out the truth or whatever? Yeah. You may never know. Never know. And people are like, oh, nah, he's a traitor. He's his. But it, nah, I feel like, nah, this, this nigga found out the truth. Yeah. Like, uh, I also like um, uh, Osama bin Laden. Mm -hmm. He used to work for the CIA. Yeah, I heard. So Crazy. it's like, man, like, what did he find out mm -hmm. to turn his back on them? I think, I think there was a, I, I can't remember exactly, but there was a conflict between um, I think George Bush and Osama bin Laden regarding like some money shit like it, they you know because they got you know because the Bush family is wealthy from the oil and shit and I think that was doing some type of deal the uh, uh, Osama he, he he like he he pulled out the deal or something nigga and it got it got fucking George Bush hot nigga oh what nigga, I got the power of I got the power of the US military nigga. we're about to fuck you up I know, but I my thing is too like uh, what else happened um Within those current towers, can think about it though. You have those billionaires also. Um, what you said, like uh, trying to find out the the missing money. Yeah. So well, uh, what did um, Osama bin Laden and that and that kind of mm. kind of part? Yeah, it's something. Have, it's something to do there. with it. It's something to have to yeah. do with it, bro. For sure. For sure. And it's like, man, you, yeah, I did this to go after that nigga, and right. then I killed these people who's trying to find their missing money. Exactly. So it's like, man, like, did you take the missing money or exactly. like, man, like. Who knows? Man. There's some dark shit going on up there, man. man. Something. It's some, and, and and that's why, like, I'm so adamant, bro. I, it really it really upsets me because you have certain influencers that have, but this this how you know the influencers are captured. They not really for the people because, nigga, you got 10 million followers, 20 million followers, nigga. You do one tweet, one post, you could have easy hundred thousand people, two hundred thousand people <laughs> come out to represent whatever cause that you're trying to uh, promote. You know what I mean? And the fact that <laughs> none of them do it. But 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 I think this is some conspiracy shit. But I think a lot of these niggas is fear for their life. They they know that. Let me hit that one time. That they know that uh, that if they hold up, they know that if they uh, go and do that and bring people out, they at risk of being killed or blackmailed or something like that. Yeah. Like, why why no, why nobody never come out for the people ever? Yeah. You know what I mean. Shit. They they don't care, they don't care. We got to speak up for ourselves, and it's gonna take all of us to really come together and get off that bullshit in order for us to speak for ourselves, especially for uh, black people to stop, <laughs> like you know, uh, looking looking down at each other and trying to steal from each other or what? Just like man, <laughs> doing like a lot of bullshit. But I say like once we fix it, once we fix our mentality. Yeah, nigga, we'd be unstoppable. Yeah, we we can uh, bring inner peace once we fix ourselves. Yeah, because we got a lot of uh, hate inside of ourselves. Why? Because it was taught to us. Yeah, and there's a lot of love at certain moments and shit. Like mm -hmm. you could be, you could be the most hoodest nigga. Yeah, and we don't like like crazy ass shit. But you'll have your moments when you're laughing, having a good time, or whatever, right. and then. Let me ask you this. Uh, I think I think we should wrap it up, but I want to ask you a fun question. We talked about a lot of shit, and I appreciate you for coming on. But I like I want I want to finish it off. Hey, bro, I'm a little nervous about. No, you, hey, no, I think you did. Hey, bro, you did a good job. Man. You did a good job. You because I think a lot of times people come on podcasts and uh, they like to talk over each other. I think you gave me a chance to talk. I gave you a chance to talk. We had a good show, but I want to I want to end it on some some fun, interesting. Uh, let's say you are. You traveling in some foreign country, right? And you go to a, you go to like a gift shop, and you see uh, like some type of vase, right? Yeah. And you you take it home, 
and a genie pops out and it gives you three <laughs> wishes and you can't ask for more wishes, what would you wish for? You get three wishes. <laughs> Nigga dying on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> What's your three wishes, fam? Uh, my fr- <laughs> oh shit! You can't ask for more wishes. My first one would be to get every um black person with uh, with a right rifle mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be like how we was. Okay. My second one would be what? Wait, but can you elaborate on that? What you mean? Be like how we was? Elaborate right, on that. Uh, one more. Like. Honestly, I can't say like exactly how he was, but like you know, to have that inner peace, I'll say to have, it, to okay. have that inner peace within us. Okay, mm-hmm. to be uh, a part of nature again. Okay, uh, to learn how to um, use our use our mind. Yeah, I'll say. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, second one would be to get myself right because mm-hmm. you know I'm not fully right. Yeah. And I'm 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 still learning. And yeah. my girl's, you know, she she's helped me uh, yeah. faster than right. anything. Yeah. Doing a great job, <coughs> there, by the way. Oh yeah. <coughs> so that niggas <coughs> <laughs> 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 dying. Yeah. So that'd be uh my, my second wish. Yeah. My third wish would be um to get my family straight. Mm. To get my family straight and Reason why I said like um my my to get myself straight is so I can come back and help other out. Yeah. Because it's like sometimes I see people on the street and it's like, man, I wish I could do something. I yeah. wish I had like some kind of, like some kind of medicine like Dr. Sabi and be like, here, here you go. Right. And boom, they take that shit and boom, mm-hmm. they're off drugs or you know, motherfucking struggling, but like here, you know, be like, oh, uh, some of these people People uh, help help the other people out, right. giving them money, helping them uh, pay their rent, like you name it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I say the third thing, you know, for my family to um, have inner peace within themselves, okay, and not to be struggling, always keeping a smile. They keep a yeah. smile, but like I want them to be cheesing every yeah. day. You know, I and I have to look over their shoulders. Yeah. I have to hustle. Yeah, yeah. To, just just to straight live life peacefully yeah. and gracefully, and and just live live a, <coughs> live a happy life for the most part. Right? Yeah. Cause like, you know, my dad. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my dad, you know, he hustles. Yeah. My mom, you know, she works and yeah. stuff. So it's like, you know, I'd rather for my dad to uh, learn how to um, work for himself instead of him have to go hustle and right. him have to look over his shoulders and stuff. Right. Like, you never want to have to look over your shoulders. No. All right, Vern. Um, I know you got. I know you got shit to do. I think we should wrap it up. Um, go ahead and tell the people where to find you on IG, your social media, TikTok, whatever. Go ahead and tell the people what's up. So you can find me on uh, Instagram at Vernon White or Woo Kid. Find me on TikTok at at Vernon White. Oh wait, shit! I be posting with my dog on TikTok. Sometimes making funny videos. Try to support me. Support my boy mm-hmm. Squadcast TV. And shit, let's get this shit popping. Shit, we're gonna hit a million views one day. That's right, baby. Let's get it today if we can. Yes, sir. And shit, if you guys are dating older females, shit, just take your time. And if you guys are really like serious about it, shit, just deal deal with deal with the bullshit, what they gotta say, love up on them, shit, show them that support, and shit, just be a real one. Facts. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, man. This is Squadcast TV, smoothest podcast in the world. My name is Chucky. Y'all already know. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. We out.